hi good morning today we talk about the java functional interfaces okay so you know about the interfaces interfaces means where we are only defining a method that's the core core definition of the interface where we are defining a method but function is there any difference between functional interface and normal interface yes in functional interfaces there is only one abstract method which can be implemented by the following the classes suppose a class one uh, like a, uh, this is a class a and if he want to implement any functional implement implement any functional uh, interface then it there should be only one method which should be overrided from this functional interface okay that's the basic different uh, basic difference between functional interface and the normal interface okay so sam also the same name of the functional interfaces means single abstract method it's known as a functional interface okay so what are the type of the functional interface there are a four functional interfaces okay first is the uh, first is the supplier who supplies the data okay like a supplier then next came uh, like as a uh, consumer who consume this supplied data okay supplier consumer then that consumer will apply on the functions okay that functions also one kind of a functional interface and then the output result is a predicate okay predicate okay this is also one so here in a diagram where we uh, that that uh, explained uh, all the four interfaces uh, the today's content is the we'll check about the consumer supplier predict and the functions all the all the functional interfaces with the examples and the programming code okay example code and the frequently asked interview questions these three points will cover on each interface okay if you see this diagram like consumer have the accept method like whenever you are implementing any consumer in your class you need to accept that method or write that if you are implementing a supplier then you need to write a get method or write the get method if you are writing function then functional interface then you need to apply and if you are doing predicate then test is there okay first we check about the supplier okay supplier means get means supplier get that data then actually function get applied that's why here apply is a method then consumer consumer who consume that data that that's why here accept is a method and predicate means that result oriented it's a true false so each and every every type of the functional interface there are valid method which we are overriding if you uh, there is a logic so you can easy to remember all that methods okay we'll check one by one suppose uh, if we are writing a consumer that consumer is a functional interface it's the represent an operation accept a single output and return a no result because the consumer itself said that consume the data not produce any data that's why it's a consume like for example if you are writing any uh, like uh, here or not whatever functions we are writing it's in a lambda expression so please visit our previous section where lambda expression we explained like list dot stream for each we are iterating over the stream and functions is operator here we are writing a lambda a is a parameter of our method and printing a is our code of that method okay so this is this is this is the way and we are defining the consumer over it so whatever this list like this list is we created here so this list dot accept and we are pressing a list here so accept is the method which 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 is overridden in uh, overridden in, in the interface so here list is the functional interface which which we are created here and we are passing that that in in a accept method so this is a way this is a class you can say and we are passing this as accept inside that uh, because this is a single method like earlier we we see that single abstract method sam six step single abstract method which should be implemented and here in anonymous class this is this is the only one method which we implemented with the parameter and a code okay that's why if you want to do multiple uh, apply the multiple consumer that also you can do like modify and this is a modify is our first consumer then we are saying modify sorry modify is our first collection then we are applying display is the is the is, is the consumer and another list is the one another consumer so this is a way you can apply the multiple multiple uh multiple functions or multiple functional consumer or or the your object okay that's basic about the consumer we'll talk about the supplier okay supplier supplier means it does not take any argument it produce the value and a get method is a here so supplier means we are supplying something to to some functions okay that means it's a supplier so it's not accepting any value it's just a returning the value by processing okay best example is a math random number generator so if you are see here we are writing a lambda expression we are not accepting any parameter we are just returning math dot random is a code okay that function we are passing here like random value dot get is the method through that random value we are this is the consumer supplier consumer okay here we are, we are just getting the value out of it okay this is the implementation of your accept method okay accept method accept method and here we are calling that get method sorry 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 this is the exam this is the implementation of your get method and here we are calling get method okay next example is a predicate predicate it's improve the management manageability of your code and help to init tests them separately 
so you, you will get to uh, by just reading the this statement you will get to know that predicate is the method who tests the some some code okay that's why it's we are saying unit test is them separately so this kind of implementation should be there so if you check here here we are building a predicate and predicate test is the method so this is the parameter of, of our, our test method and this is the code where we are checking the u dot get road and we are checking the admin should be road and here we are calling a test method so if you are passing the user here we are actually checking that role should be an admin and we are checking here for example if you want to just uh, just just in a normal way implementation like a has length here we are creating predict rate where we predict the length is greater than 10 and here you are defining anonymous class like new predicate with the string and this is a test method like string t and here we are comparing t dot length should be greater than 10 and if you want to apply the predicate like has dot length we are negating that means you can do the reverse way also like negating it test whatever result you are receiving from this method you just reverse it and apply it and whatever output you will get here that means this is the consumer this is the predicate you write predicate here then apply the negate over here means if result is a positive that to convert minus and minus become a plus this operation will happen here and this is the test method whichever you are implementing here this will get called at a test method okay yeah uh, if you, in, in in the same way uh, like earlier here we are applying multiple predicate but you can do also and and or operation with this also like you can write and and between one multiple if you want to apply the multiple predicate yeah uh, that's it for today's session if you want multiple uh, if you have multiple questions because this is a combination of the streams and a lambda so before uh, you are coming here you should at least aware about the streams and lambda and then you will get a better idea about this functional interface yeah uh, thanks all bye